Nothing in life is more liberating than to fight for a cause larger than yourself, something that encompasses you but is not defined by your existence alone. Words of a leader. John McCain died last weekend, hours after announcing he was leaving his political career because of brain cancer. Thirty years in Washington, representing the state of Arizona. For 1,800 days, he outlasted the torture, the beatings, and the broken bones inflicted by North Vietnamese captors as an American prisoner of war. One conservative columnist said with his passing, real men must stand up now to be measured by the standards that Senator McCain left us as his legacy. John McCain ran for president twice and twice defeated. Before dying, he had asked the two men who defeated him, Republican George W. Bush and Democrat Barack Obama, to speak at his funeral. Both immediately sent word that they would. John McCain could be measured as a good man, but always reflected what he called a quiet faith as a Christian. He told the story of one Christmas in that POW camp. A Vietnamese prison guard stood next to him, and with his boot drew a picture of a cross before rubbing it out, as that would have put his own life in jeopardy if discovered. As McCain put it, for a minute there, there were two Christians worshiping together. One pastor asked him more specifically to define his faith the final time he ran and lost for president. His response, it means I'm saved and forgiven. Agree or disagree with his politics or other views, I believe John McCain understood humility, a quality sorely missing among most modern-day leaders in his country. I believe he would have made a great president, but after losing, he returned to working hard, not just for his state, but for his country. All our lives are ultimately in the Lord's hands. In his book, Faith of My Fathers, he recounted how, while a POW, I prayed more often and more fervently than I ever had as a free man. I pray John McCain is now free in Christ. Those are my thoughts. I'm Charles Morris at Haven Today.